join me at www.patreon.com forward slash what if football link in the description below for bonus content such as three podcasts a week football manager content thursday to sunday a quick fire round of your what if scenarios each month and soon we'll be touring the united kingdom together on football away days thank you for donating and enjoy today's show On April 27th, 1993, 30 people perished off the coast of Gabon due to a plane's engine fire. On board was the Zambian national football team en route to Dakar, the Senegalese capital for a World Cup qualifier. Nicknamed Chipola Polo, the Copper Bullets, they were amongst the best national teams in Africa and were on course to qualify for the 1994 World Cup in the United States. Zambia had thrashed Italy 4-0 at the 1988 Summer Olympic Games and qualified top of the group but would fall to eventual bronze medalists West Germany at the quarter-final stage. They were due to play in the 1994 African Cup of Nations and a fresh team led by a player who didn't travel with the Zambian squad that day, Captain Kalusha Bwalia got to the final in Tunisia but lost 2-1 to Nigeria. Zambia would play their game with Senegal four months after the disaster in the Ivory Coast, drawing 0-0. Their World Cup qualification campaign wasn't over however, they revived their bid to get to the games with a 4-0 demolition of Senegal in September, but they would ultimately miss out. Their 1-0 loss in front of 150,000 people in Casablanca to Morocco meant that the Moroccans would appear at the World Cup and not Zambia. Zambia have yet to qualify for a World Cup. They did however win the African Cup of Nations in 2012, in Libreville in Gabon, 19 years after 18 of their brightest footballers perished less than a mile away. But let's slide the doors open, gauge the effect of the butterfly and rewrite the football in history books. Here's what would have happened if the Gabon air disaster never happened. October 1993, Morocco's 1-0 win over Zambia in Casablanca wasn't enough for Morocco to overturn a four goal swing following Zambia's three successive wins in the group. Zambia were going to the World Cup in the United States. Before the World Cup however, Zambia had the business of the African Cup of Nations in Tunisia. Kelvin Mutale fired in twice against Sierra Leone and combined with captain Kalusha Bwalia in the 2-1 win over Ivory Coast in the final group game. Senegal, as they were in World Cup qualification, were beaten in the quarter-finals in Suse before the Chipolo Polo ran in five goals against Mali in the semi-finals. Nigeria were the opponents in Tunis and were qualified for the World Cup alongside them. Again, it was Kalusha Bwalia with the early goal to not only confirm his golden boot, but to give Zambia their first African Cup of Nations. Zambia's first World Cup game would be in Orlando, Florida against Belgium. They were a goal down inside 11 minutes. Zambia, however, didn't relent in their approach, as Darby Makinka drew the sides level shortly after the half-time break. Zambia got a point out of Belgium, and then six days later they had a trip to the giant stadium to face Saudi Arabia. Again, they trailed early, inside seven minutes through a penalty conceded. Kalusha Bwalia, their hero in Tunisia, became their hero in America, scoring twice in a 2-1 win. Thankfully, the Netherlands could only put one beyond Zambia in the final match of the group through Dennis Bergkamp, which, thanks to Zambia's better goal difference than Belgium's, was the difference between facing world champions Germany and a nonetheless difficult last 16 match with Sweden. They were joined by Nigeria as the only African representation in the knockout phase. And whilst Nigeria took Italy to extra time and were ultimately unsuccessful, a wild penalty shootout ensured that Zambia would play in a World Cup quarter-final. 8-7 on penalties in Dallas with Thomas Brolin's missed penalty meant a potential quarter-final with Argentina. Only potential, however, as later that evening, Georgie Hadji stunned Argentina. One of Zambia or Romania would play in a World Cup semi-final against Brazil. A goal on 9 minutes put the Chipolo Polo into a 1-0 lead. It appeared that for the first time in World Cup history, an African nation were to play in a World Cup semi-final. However, Romania hit back, late on in the day through Florin Radichoyu, with mere seconds to spare. Like Cameroon did to England four years prior, the African nation took a European team to the brink and to extra time. But just like Cameroon, Zambia fell in extra time, and just like Cameroon, they conceded three goals. Dumitrescu and Haji added 2 and 3, Romania won 3-1 and would lose to eventual winners Brazil in the semi-finals. As reigning AFCON champions, Zambia breezed through their group, with Algeria, Burkina Faso and Sierra Leone. Egypt fell, as did Tunisia, and then, inside the Soccer City Stadium against host South Africa, Bwalia silenced them with a quick-fire double late on in the day. 
as two-time reigning champions of Africa and an expanded World Cup to 32 teams and an extra two African places for the forthcoming World Cup, it was an almost a guarantee that Zambia would qualify. It was Zambia's last dance and certainly Kalusha Bwalia's. They broke South African hearts on the way to a second successive qualification to the World Cup and to France 98. Zambia's World Cup would be opened by none other than France, the hosts and would-be winners. France was saved on 92 minutes by a late, late Thierry Henry winner in Marseille. Buoyed by the performance, Zambia held Denmark to a 0-0 draw six days later in Toulouse. An opponent from Zambia's history was their final group game opponent, Saudi Arabia in Bordeaux. They needed a two-goal swing, i.e. a win over Saudi Arabia and a loss for Denmark against France. Denmark would lose thanks to an Emmanuel Petit goal on 56 minutes, by which point Zambia had got their first goals of the World Cup in a 2-0 win over Saudi Arabia. Somehow, somewhere, Zambia had eliminated Denmark to get into the last 16. Zambia's third ever knockout game in the World Cup was another old opponent, Nigeria. The Stade de France was an apt venue for one of the biggest African games of football ever. The winner would play Brazil and Ronaldo in the quarterfinals. And just like four years prior, Zambia occupied the quarterfinal spot, whilst Nigeria went home at the last 16. Zambia would be no match for Brazil as Ronaldo ran in a hat-trick in a 4-0 win. Zambia's golden period was officially over. Winners Zambia because they managed to reach two World Cups and reach two World Cup quarter-finals at that in a joint record performance for an African team as well as winning their first two AFCON titles. And losers, the losers of those AFCON finals Nigeria and South Africa as well as South Africa's failure to qualify for the World Cup in 1998. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to smash a like and hit subscribe as they all say. Alongside our 7 days a week content on Patreon, we will be delivering 5 what if scenarios a week here on YouTube. Supplemented with all your what if football goodness, ranked lists and the Naughty's Nostalgia podcast. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.